Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a review of this rigid inspection camera. In this video review, I will be going over the features and functions of this camera. I'll also be telling you about my personal opinion of the inspection camera, and I will be demonstrating myself using it to put this camera inside of this toilet. Let's get right to it. As you can see, it is a very, very nice handheld unit. It's really, really easy to operate. As you can see right here, there are only four buttons. So it's really easy. There's a very small learning curve. And you have this four foot cord with a camera at the end. And it's a camera that has these LED lights on it. So let's go over some of the features. Okay, as you can see right here, it's really easy to use. All that you do is simply turn it on. It uses its battery power and it uses batteries. I'll just pop this open right here to show you. There are four batteries in here right there. Um, basically just press and hold this down to turn it on just like that. As you can see the LEDs are on the camera right there and you have a screen that shows you what's going on, what you're looking at, okay? You can obviously move the camera around. There I am right over there as you can see. And the cool thing about it is that you can push this button right here to flip the screen. So as you can see right there, I'm flipping the screen back and forth, just like that. Really, really easy to use and operate, and that button is very useful for when you are putting the camera down a drain or in a different area. Now these buttons right here, so you have the power button, the screen flip button, and then you have these buttons which either increase or lower the brightness. So as you can see, if I push this button, it increases the brightness on the screen as well as the actual lighting. And if you push this one, it decreases the brightness of the lights and also so which, which decreases the brightness on the screen. So very, very useful if you're sending this into a dark area. Now you don't only have to use this for drains, you can use this to inspect pretty much anything, HVAC, ductwork, uh, inside walls, inside conduits, pretty much anything. Now, I'm just gonna turn this off for a quick second right here. As you can see over here, let's turn the camera. It also comes with this awesome carrying case, really, really easy, a very easy to read and understand instruction manual. And it comes with this cord right here, which allows you to connect the actual unit to a video display monitor. So if you're using this and you wanna show a client something or you wanna show someone else what you're seeing on a bigger screen, you can simply connect this to your TV or a monitor of pretty much any sort. It's, it's absolutely awesome in my opinion. It's very lightweight, so it's not going to hurt your arm if you're using it for hours on end. Um, and it's overall, it's a great unit. It's very, very simple. And basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to actually stick it into the toilet. I mean, just to give you an idea of what it looks like when it's actually in a drain. Um, just for clarification, the actual model number, as you can see right here, is Micro CA-25. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to try and give you the best view while I'm doing this. I'm simply going to turn it on, just as you can see right there, we'll let the screen turn on. And I'm going to take the actual cord and I'm going to send it into the toilet. So I'm going to try and, you know, I'm not going too deep in the toilet, but I'm trying to give you a good view of what it looks like when it's in there. So I will actually give you a, the best view when it's already in position. So I'm just going to actually right now feed it into the toilet, as you can see right there. Um, let's just bring, try and get the camera at a pretty good angle right there. So now we are in the drain. Now let me get it into position and I'll give you a better view. So we're now inside of the drain and as you can see right here, we can sort of feed it around the drain and it's really hard to see with the camera, but it's actually giving me a pretty decent view of the drain. There we go. So now if I move the unit around, we can get a better view. And if, you, if, you, if you're having trouble maneuvering the unit, what you can do is simply flip the screen and it'll give you a better orientation. So now I have a better orientation of what we're looking at. I'm actually gonna pull it up and I'm just going to uh, angle the camera a little bit better for viewing purposes. So now we're sticking it in the toilet and there we go. There's a pretty good view of the toilet drain just as you can see right over there. And I, now I can actually just increase the illumination just like that. Let's get a better view, there we go. I can increase the illumination to get a brighter view. So as you can see right there, hopefully it's coming through nicely on the camera. Um, it looks like it's coming out eh, sort of decently on the camera, but that is a good view right there. There is a great, great indication of the drain, okay? As you can see, it's in decent condition, but like I said, it, this camera is waterproof, so right now I have it in the drain. We are just looking at the, uh, trying to give you a better view, there we go. We're looking at the inside of the toilet drain um, and uh, you can use it to inspect pretty much anything else. 
I apologize if I'm stuttering, I'm just trying to do many things at once and give you the best view of the actual camera. So I'm just actually going to pull it out right now and I'm going to leave it on the floor um, just so I can clean it before I, before I get my hands all over it. But that's basically it. Overall, it's an absolutely awesome unit. It's really easy to use. It, it has a nice four foot cord with the camera at the end of it and the, the cord is pretty sturdy as you can see right there it's pretty much staying in place so it's absolutely great in my opinion very small learning curve and it's a very very useful tool you can use it to inspect practically anything okay small areas that you can't get your head into this is what this that is what those are what this is meant for those areas like that but that's basically it I hope that you have enjoyed this video review and that's all I have for you today Thanks for watching.